the Springs Radio Real Estate Show. I'm Cheryl Garlock with Colorado Front Range Properties, your host each and every week. And my guest today is Andy Shin with AY Realty. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me on. I'm always glad to have you on because you always have such valuable information to share with our listeners there. And you know, uh, Andy does a lot of work, particularly in the rental real estate market there. And you know, you get you get prop buyers, or I, I always say buyers. Of course, you get you get tenants that are people are looking for places but guess what you guys I have a buyer I need your help with okay so I want you to keep your ears open and your eyes peeled I got a buyer that's looking for a single family home they need like three plus bedrooms or th and three plus bathrooms a three car garage and Andy I know you're going to be thinking about something here right now I can just see your eyes are turning there they need the eastern side of Colorado Springs maybe paint an area and they're looking for something in that two twenty to two hundred sixty thousand dollar price range there so if you know of something that is coming up on the market there you're thinking about selling you know what to do that's right. Call me, 719-321-7600. I want to go ahead and help these people find a home as soon as I can before they end up deciding they might have to take advantage of Rand, uh, Andy's services and rent something. Well, that wouldn't be too bad, would it? Well, yes, for them it would be. You know, they need to own. You need to own. But if you're in a situation where you can't own or something like that, then Andy is the next best thing there. And so he'll take care of you. And it is a great time to buy. So I hope they hope they find something. It sounds like the, they're in the right price range for that type of house. So. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, of course, we have the lowest rates possible right now that historically they're going to ever see. I dare say. Yeah. I've been doing this for just a mere 30-plus years. And i got to tell you, it's close to free money. Yeah. So anyway, Andy, I want to go ahead and ask you about, you mentioned to me that you have a new uh, nonprofit uh, thing that you're working with. Tell me about that. Yeah, you bet. It's uh, called the Fountain Shelton Partnership. Now, people may not realize, uh, this was a surprise the first time I heard about it. Falcon Shelton. Fountain, Fountain and Shelton. Fountain Shelton. And, and the census tract around the intersection of Fountain and Shelton here in Colorado Springs is number one. <laughs> In gun violence in the entire state of Colorado. Can you believe that? Yeah, I, well... Um, Think about areas of Denver and Pueblo. And you know, that's interesting because I, I was wondering about that because, you know, I do listen to the news frequently and we have a little bit too much of that activity going on in there and I'm pretty familiar with Denver, so... You know, you're right. I think that that has a high level. And I'll tell you what, if you live in Colorado Springs, I mean, do you, do we want to have the highest gun violence area in the no, state of Colorado Springs? No, absolutely not. Because that's not Colorado Springs. That's not what Colorado Springs is about. So what Fountain Shelton Partnership is doing is working with uh, property owners, landlords, property managers, business owners, uh, and residents uh, in that area uh, to really... Um, set up a neighborhood watch and crime-free multi-housing and things like that. We're working with the Sand Creek Division of the Colorado Springs Police Department. They've been fantastic. Oh, that's um, great. And uh, we just did our uh, first event back in Halloween. Uh, we did a safe trick-or-treating and free barbecue uh, at the Quick Stop. Thanks to the, a donation from the Quick Stop, use of their parking lot plus a financial donation. We did a big event there. We had over 200 people show up for this uh, relatively unadvertised event. And uh, I think it's, there's a need in that community for those types of things and for really a presence of, of, uh, of community and, and leadership in that area. And that's what we're trying well, to do. Well, you know what? That's exactly what this area needs, and, and especially that little uh, circumference that you're kind of talking about right there. But this town is loaded with uh, opportunities to help each other. That is really one of the neatest things about being in Colorado Springs, and you guys are exemplifying that through this particular program. So they can learn more about that by calling you, can't they? Absolutely. Get a hold of AY Realty, and we can certainly uh, get anybody who uh, would like to be involved in this organization. Certainly, if you live in that area, Area, by all means, but even if you don't live in that area, you just want to want to contribute or be part of it or volunteer, uh, please uh, get a hold of us. Absolutely. Now, listen, you guys, go to ColoradoSpringsBestHomes.com, click on the Extras tab, and you'll see the show guests here, and Andy's contact information is right there. Again, ColoradoSpringsBestHomes.com, click on the Extras tab, and my uh, show guest will go ahead and be listed right there, and he would be great to go ahead and talk to. Let's talk a little bit about this market slowdown. We sort of mentioned that at the top of the hour. And we were just wondering a little bit about, you know, where do you think the market is headed as far as the rental market is concerned in Colorado Springs, Andy? I'll tell you, uh, if you look at the last couple of years, uh, we had a pretty strong year-round rental market, and you sort of oh. got spoiled by that. Oh, you do? Yeah. You know, uh, this fall was a little slow, though. We did see the typical fall slowdown that you, you would see in a normal year that maybe had skipped over a couple of years. So, so we saw a slowdown that Thanksgiving to Christmas time. But I'll tell you, December's been, uh, been strong, second half of December. And I have a feeling that going into the first of the year, it's going to really 
um, pick up. And there's a lot of uh, uh, troops coming in. And that's, yeah. that's good news for the rental market always. That is. Um, yeah, so uh, I think it's going to be very strong. It was slow for a couple months, so if somebody's out there thinking, oh, I heard things were slowing down, don't worry about it. That period seems to be over. We seem yeah, to think, be things are there. always a little bit cyclical. You know, they kind yeah. of go in little waves here and there, that sort of thing. There's, so there's never like you're in a, in a downturn for a really long, long period of time. You know, so you should not be thinking that you're going to be in that, that situation there. Well, especially so, not in this town. It's been so strong for so many years. Yes, absolutely. They're now, thinking about that, then if you are um, an owner of a property and you're thinking about putting your home up for rent is January a good time to be doing that what do you think yeah it sure is uh, people are, are now looking first of the year and, and maybe they're coming here because they've, they've uh, been stationed at Fort Carson or something mm -hmm. like that but also a lot of people are just looking first of the year maybe it's time to upgrade maybe they're looking for a nicer rental home so um, if you have a, a home that you're thinking about renting out uh, January is always a good time to get on the market you know that's actually true too as well as selling homes and is concerned in, in the market there a lot of times you know uh, in the uh, situation where people are selling homes they're actually thinking about well I'll wait and do it until spring or summertime thinking about when the kids get out of school and that kind of thing there well guess what folks that's when everybody thinks about doing it so you want to get the edge you want to be the one that, that they really have to go ahead and take advantage of do it when the inventory is low so get your home on the market during this time period here and in a way that's kind of what you're saying as well yeah buying or renting the, the buyers and the renters are out there so get your house on the market. Now, you told me also at break here, and I don't have very long to talk about this, but I want to let everybody know, in your property management services, you have a new appliance repair program, don't you? Yeah, it's Appliance Repair Plus, and it covers all of your household appliances with zero deductible, but it also covers those little uh, nagging repairs. Anything under $100 is covered. Your sprinkler blowouts and turn-ons are covered. Everything's covered in, in that one program. It's $499 a year, and it's... It's um, completely administered by uh, AY uh, Realty, and it's an easy program that will give you most years, give you the security of not having a repair that you actually have to pay for. I have got to tell you guys, that is absolutely phenomenal. I utilize a service like that myself personally, and it is a lifesaver. I mean, you can sleep easily at night knowing that you have a repair program already in place like that. Yeah. So that is really, really good there. So one last quick question here for you, Andy, before we go to break here, and that is what happens, do you think, if you're a renter, if you're renting a home and they stop paying rent real quick, what do they do? Colorado is relatively landlord friendly. It's easy to, you want to have a good property manager who's at the door collecting rent. Absolutely. Needed, but you can evict if you need to. That's a rare circumstance if you do the right screening up front. Okay, well that sounds great. Hey, get your pen and paper ready. We've got a property showcase coming right up. We're going to talk to you about some great bank-owned properties.